Hey, what is up you guys? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys my workflow process and how I do things. So a little disclaimer about this is that this video is going to be pretty much aimed towards Adobe Illustrator and for people who have pen tablets, stylus, drawing tablets. Without that, then this video would not portray towards you. But enough of that, let's jump right into it. And the first thing I want to talk about is the weapons of my choice that I choose whenever I decide to design anything in Adobe Illustrator. So whenever I start off my project, the first thing I always do, no matter what, is I always start off by creating my custom brushes. I usually use two different brushes. I usually use a calligraphy brush or I make a ellipse style art brush and they both come in handy depending on what type of art you're doing. Usually I will use the ellipse art brush if I'm going to be doing like fine line art for anime characters but if I want more pressure sensitivity I will use the calligraphy brush and they're very simple and very easy to use and make. And secondly um, it takes time but you really want to memorize your shortcuts and keys uh, for example if you're someone who draws a lot and you have to use your keyboard more than your actual drawing tablet the V B N L N P and then uh, the A button are going to be your mainly used button. Same thing with uh, Control Z, Command Z. Those are going to be your used buttons throughout your entire project just because those are what activates the brush tool, pen tool, ellipse tool, pen tool. And now my process when it comes to drawing is I will usually always draw um, on the side because I use a full tablet. And so what I do is I draw different sized lines, different size fills and stuff. So I'll put like a number on like one, two, three, four, showing the different size stroke I've just used. So it's easy for me to access instead of having to go up into the menu to change my stroke size. So that's one thing I always do. If you see in my videos, you'll see those numbered lines next to my image just so I can easily click onto them and change my brush size real easily, real fast without having to go into other menus to do it real quickly. And as usual, when it comes to any image that I'm drawing, one thing that I always try to do before I start off is I try to lower my opacity of my strokes because if I do that, I am able to have a sketching feel because because in Illustrator, it's vector based and things don't work as simply as in Photoshop when you're drawing. Drawing is a whole different type of thing in both applications and they both have different feels and you really need to have a feel for it. So lowering the opacity will definitely try to mimic the feel of drawing like in Photoshop where drawing in Photoshop is more natural feeling, more organic feeling versus Illustrator where it's just uh, weird and wonky. But that's pretty much it. That's a quick step into my work process as I begin to start any project and how I go through it, the shortcuts I use, the brushes that I use, and things like that. Uh, everything else is pretty much pretty rudimentary, so it's very easy to figure out and do. But if you guys ever need any help with tutorials on how to do that type of thing, if you guys get stuck on controls or functions in Adobe Illustrator, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments or hit me up on my community page, and I can definitely answer some questions if you guys are not figuring it out. But you know who it is. It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, bell icon, all that bullshit. Your boy out.